Oh, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And it looks like this trial for sloppy Alvin Bragg is falling apart, which we all knew. I mean, this this trial was a complete just hoax of going after Trump. This is something that the left and the Biden administration has been working toward in order to imprison their political opponent because they understand that Biden is not a popular figure within the United States right now, especially with all of the turmoil of the southern border and, of course, the economic status of many Americans. Americans across the country right now, and not to mention all of the other cultural issues that we are seeing that are is a plague right now to this nation, and the possibility of entering foreign wars. Yeah, the 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 American electric is absolutely tired of this regime, and they understand this. So what they've done, of course, over the course of the last two years, is develop these these uh, cases that would potentially either put Trump in jail or obviously uh, prohibited him from being able to campaign, once again, an election interference tactic by the Biden regime. But what we are seeing in real time right now is current support from the American people is becoming larger and larger with every day that these phony trials continue to go on, especially from sloppy Alvin Bragg. Uh, there in New York City with this Stormy Daniels, which she did go on the stand, and it was disastrous for the state. Um, and of course, we know that there is still a jury that has been seated from Manhattan, so uh, it will still depend on them. But they, she did not do the prosecution any favors. So before we dive into today's uh, video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. Allow me to share some info with you. Hopefully, you can share it with your friends and family. Smash that like button to 1,500 likes. And if you like the content, you like the video, you like the channel, you can check out other videos on this channel by following the little links right above me right there. So let's go and dive into this. Coming to us over from the Gateway Pundit. And, of course, this is from CNN, uh, who says the analyst, the legal analyst over on CNN says on Stormy Daniels, her responses were disastrous. They surely were. Uh, Daniels' testimony on Tuesday was such an absolute disaster that even CNN was forced to admit it. CNN legal analyst uh, Eli Hong said that although Daniel's testimony about the encounter with Trump is a hotel room in 2006 was plausible, her responses while under cross-examination by Trump's legal team called her credibility into question. Referring to the moment Daniels admitted she hates President Trump, Hong said her responses were disastrous, adding, that's a big deal. When the witnesses hates the person whose liberty is at stake, that's a big damn deal. And she's putting out tweets, fantasizing about putting uh, him being in jail. That really undermines the credibility. Hoyne also referenced Daniel's comment that she has no intention of paying court order legal fees to Trump after her failed defamination case against him was tossed out. Daniels has said on social media, she will go to jail before she has to pay a penny. The fact that she owes him $500,000 by a court order, owes Trump a half a million dollars and said, I will never pay him. I will defy a court order. The defense is going to say she's willing to defy a court order. She's not willing to respect an order from a judge. Why is she going to respect this oath she took? So I thought it was quite, uh, uh, she was quite poor on the cross-examination. Absolutely. And we know she's been put up there by the left. She's been put out there by the Biden regime in order to, in fact, try to hurt President Trump in this upcoming election uh, with any means necessary. And that's what we're kind of seeing with this whole uh, Stormy Daniels drama. Once again, of course, she still owes President Trump a half a million dollars uh, from her disastrous uh, case that she had against him uh, before. Uh, so this is, again, and, and her her former loyal uh, lawyer, Avianti, was also saying this, that this case is absolutely absurd, and he hates Trump. He cannot stand Trump, and he's also claiming this tr this case is a, a miscarriage of justice. So you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can follow me on all my social media, all linked in the description down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day.